Yo! I got another more fun one here. I got a 2008 Mazda 3 manual transmission 5 speed. Um, this guy had a slave cylinder put in it. It's um, buried in a good spot. That's the slave cylinder. It was leaking, so he had it replaced by somebody. And they replaced it, and they couldn't get the clutch to work right. So the guy eventually, he eventually ended up putting a master cylinder in it, which is buried way the heck back behind the firewall. It's in a really bad spot. You got to take the clutch pedal apart and all kinds of stuff. I can't even see it without taking this battery box out. But it's buried under the dash. It's a real pain in the butt to do. So the guy ended up putting a master cylinder in it because he thought it was a problem. And then that still didn't fix it. So I guess he put a new... He put a new line in it too. And what happens with this car is it's all bled out. I actually bled it out and it didn't do any good. Um, the clutch works and then as soon as you go out on the street, sometimes you get about half a pedal and it stays half down and it doesn't... You, you, you actually got to pump it up because to make it work. The guy thought he needed a clutch and he, he doesn't need a clutch. Um, he's got air in the system and it's, it's really hard to bleed out. Because for some reason on this vehicle, it, it, it ends up being trapped. Now this has got a, this is your, your master cylinder for your brakes and it's got a, it's got a hose in the back that's, that's connected to this same reservoir for your clutch. So there's no separate reservoir for this either. Um, he's definitely got air in here. There's no air in the system. It's trapped in the master cylinder. I, I, I run into this problem actually quite often with vehicles where you can't get air out of the master cylinder. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I do it. What I do is I, 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 dead, I deadhead the master cylinder. I don't know if that's the right terminology for it. Nobody ever tells you how to do this. Nobody does it this way, but this is how I do it. So I'm going to show you how I get the air out of here real quick. It's a real big headache saver for these cars. And I, like I say, I've run into this with a lot of vehicles when I, when I replace a master and a slave cylinder. First thing you want to do is, um, well, you want to block the rear wheels or something or put the e-brake on if it still works. Um, you want to jack up the front of the car as, as far as you can and leave the back end low because what that does is it it makes in, instead of the, the master cylinder being level with the ground it's actually up a little bit because the fluid line that goes into your reservoir is usually in the front of the master cylinder so it's just a good idea to do to try to get the air up to go up as far as it can. Then I gotta go in here, I gotta find a flexible line somewhere on the master cylinder. You wanna put a you wanna put a needle nose vice grip on this flexible hose. You don't want to get it too tight, you want to get it just tight enough to stop the fluid flow. You don't want to crush the living crap out of the hose or anything. But just do that. Yeah you can geez you can't even see that master cylinder. It's just in a really bad spot. I'm going to take this cap off just for fun. Then on the clutch master cylinder, you want to push it down and you should you should feel it pump up. Just hit it a bunch of times. And that's what I mean by deadhead in the the master cylinder. There's there's no place for the fluid flow to go except for up. Now, this isn't this isn't necessarily going to push any of that air up so what you got to do now is push down on it really hard and it's going to force fluid flow to go past to go past my vice grip and then what I do is after it's down it'll stay down because there's no there's no pressure to pull it back up so I pull it up by hand and then I can check it again and it's nice and solid and um, a lot of times you don't you don't want to hit this more than once because some of these master cylinders on some vehicles they don't have a retainer clip for the piston and if you keep pumping the dang thing once in a while you'll get one where the piston completely pops out of the slave cylinder and then you got to take all the crap apart. So now I'm going to look down here just for fun.
Now, if I look down here, I, I can I can tell that the the slave cylinder actually pushed out, disengaging the clutch. And you, you can tell the rod's longer because that rubber bellows boot is spread out more. So you know you you know the you know the piston rod in there moved out. So it's out and it's stuck out because of that vice grip. And I pulled the pedal out. And now all I'm gonna do So now this air this air is 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 still in the master cylinder maybe and it's got no place to go but up. So I just take this vice grip off. And then a lot of times if 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 you get this if you get this master cylinder totally full, sometimes when you hit the pedal, when the when the vice grip is on, sometimes you'll see this level come up a little bit because because the air is actually trying to push itself out. And then, and then when you take the vice grip out, if this is all the way full, a lot of times you'll see a little bit of air bubbling out of the top of this master. You do that a couple of times, and this is going to work. Now I can hit the pedal, and it feels it feels a lot better already. So I'm going to call that a fix. Okay, bye.